getting on well? All right? Yeah, it looks like it. Are you going to give him another chance? Don't be stupid. Why not? Because. I just don't fancy him, that's all. Yeah, he obviously fancies you. Look, can we just forget this? He's not my type. Oh, and uh, just who is your type? <laughs> <laughs> Look, um, I'm sorry I had such a go at Jack. Oh, that's all right. You know, I don't care less what happens to Pete, but we can't bar him because then we wouldn't get the money for the party and... Well, the surge would walk out and then what? <sighs> Back to Mike. Exactly, dead loss. Yeah. Oh, well, it's always been personal between Pete and Grandpa. We just don't need that in business. Well, I just thought... Your family. I know, but I've got to stop thinking about that whilst we're working, otherwise it's just going to complicate things. So what you're saying is that he needed putting in his place. You agree? Mm. Yeah, I'm fine with whatever you do, you know that. Yeah. Cool. Dave alerting sector five. Do you fancy it off? Mm. Why, well, what have you got in mind? Nothing much, just a little joke, a little humiliation. Oh, may I count me in? Yeah, you know, blonde, tall, dark, long. Don't mind, really. You don't mind? No, as long as they're polite. Are you, uh, Italian? No. Did anyone ever say you look Italian? No. You do? I'm into the Italian look. It's cool, it's sexy. I like that. Mm. Yeah, you know, uh, you look a bit Italian yourself. People have said. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, I told you to go and check the bistro. Yes, yeah, sorry, Hall. Well, hurry up. There's people queuing. I'll talk to you later. Yeah. You shouldn't speak to her like that. It's rude. Rude? <laughs> well, you're a fine one to talk. You come in here and spend the whole afternoon chatting up my girlfriend. Girlfriend? What do you mean, girlfriend? Oh, don't pretend you didn't know. Know what? Susie just probably didn't want to hurt your feelings. You mean you and Susie? Yes. It does happen, you know, even in Charnham. Oh, I don't know. I mean, I didn't know. Well, what did you think? I thought. Me and her. Oh! Just like every man. They think Susie fancies them. <laughs> well, the day you guys start thinking with your heads instead of your own. Um... You know what I mean? Sorry. I'm really sorry. I have no idea. I know. It's okay. It can be confusing. Sometimes I think we should uh, be colour coded to make it easier for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Go on. Well, I'll uh, see you two girls later then. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> classic. That was really classic. I think I went overboard. No, you didn't. Mm. Did you hear what? Yeah. Mm. Sometimes I think we should colour code it <laughs> to make it easier. <laughs> Early slept last night. Mm. I kept hoping I drank it. I just don't understand. Why would she do this to us? Well, I don't think she was thinking about us at the time. Who's got the legal high ground here? It's all about board. Is there a chance that he's pulling a fast one on us? <laughs> I wish. It certainly is his favourite way of doing business. Um, and you saw the documents, they're signed by Maria. Short of us selling out, well, we're in business with Pete, whether we like it or not. Oh, I feel sick. Mm. You know, I'm still sure that there's something dodgy going on. But we can't prove anything without Maria, can we? I know we can't. But I'm not giving up. Cut our profits. You know he's going to be doing all the work, don't you? There is no way I am slaving for that man and for nothing. This is so awful, Steve. <sighs> come on, Hal. We'll sort it out. Well, I don't know how. Oh, come on, you don't want Pete to see you like that. Look. Maybe we should just sell me and start up again. Holly, come on, don't be daft. We're going to beat him. But how does he do it? How does he manage to destroy everything he touches? And he's so good at it. We are not giving up. We've just got to start thinking on his level. Like a cockroach. 
<laughs> so glad you're here. <laughs> Why? Why? So I won't be able to do this on my own. <laughs> hey, your partners. Hello, the lock. Can I help you? Yeah, she is. Can I say who's calling? Yeah, hold on a minute. Did you? Yeah. Who's it? Kim? Oh, great. Hi. Yeah. I know, I know. Oh, well, you know, the usual. Okay, uh, well, why don't you come and pick me up at about seven and we can have a drink first. Yeah. All right then, hon. See you later. Bye. Let's drop out then. Yep. We're going to that Mexican to have something to eat. No, you must tell me what it's like. We might go clubbing afterwards as well. Depends how we get on. Is there a crowd of you? No, it's just me and Kim. You know, the one that you spoke to on the phone. Yeah. Oh, I'll have a good time. Mm. Hi, Kim. No, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> This is um, Holly, who I work with. Hi. Hi. This is Kim. Hello. Right, shall we uh, head to town then? Yeah. Okay. See you. Bye. <laughs> Hi, Hal. <clears throat> hello? Anyone there? What? Don't jump down my throat. I was only saying hello. No, I didn't. Yeah, right. Boy, did you get out of the wrong side of bed? No, not at all. Okay then, I'll tell you what, should, should I go back out, yeah? And we can no, start from the beginning. Right, I'm sorry. Sorry. What's the matter? Well, Susie's just gone out and uh, left me here to deal with everything on my own. What with that girl? <laughs> yeah, she should be here working. All right. Did you ask her to work tonight then? Well, no, not exactly. Well, if you didn't ask her, then how? No, Mel, that's not the point. This is a business, and right now we need to be here as much as possible. Mm. I see. What? Are you jealous? <laughs> Why would I be jealous? She can go out with whoever she wants. Yeah, in the meantime, you're stuck here, working. Right, yeah, I, mean, I guess you're right. Well, listen, is there anything that I can do? No, you're all right. It's just a, just a business partner's thing. I should sort it out myself. No, I meant behind the bar. Oh, no. No, thanks anyway. All right, then. Well, look, what are you having to drink? I'll get you something. Keep you going. <laughs> hey, why didn't you ask me to give you a hand with that? I can manage. You do yourself an injury. Oh, I'm fine, Grandpa. Oh, sorry, I suppose. Susie hasn't turned up then. Well, we're doing fine without her, aren't we? Doesn't need to make any difference. She's late, isn't she? Oh, she'll be here in a minute. Hello. Oh, sorry I'm late. It's all right. You're doing fine. What kept you? Oh, I didn't get in till gone five. Oh, I just couldn't get up this morning. Have a good night. Oh, yeah. We ended up going to a club. Who are you with for after dinner? Nice. Who with? Mm. Him. Friend of a friend. Met him at the party a couple of weeks ago. Oh. Uh, did you do the spirit sword yesterday? No, no, I didn't. Well, can you sort it out then, please? I think we're running out of vodka. Be all right. Give her a chance. I've just got in. All right. Well, whenever you're ready. <laughs> Start with her. When I think I made him clean out the looms. <laughs> he just stood there and took it. Major shareholder wears rubber gloves. Mm. Hygie <laughs> Maria always did it, didn't she? Mm. Did you really and truly have no idea? Of course not. Do you really think I would have stood by and let Pete take over if I had an inkling? Well, why didn't she tell us? Well, I guess she thought she wouldn't have got away with Duncan and Ewan if she had. I always thought she was a dark horse, but, mm. well, and unstable, but... Well, she had to play her cards very close to her chest to win one over with you. Mm. I mean, I'm a bit naive, but you don't miss much. How do you feel a bit of a fool? Still, at least we got rid of snake features. <laughs> like I've just found a pound and lost a fiver. Mm. First you get rid of Pete, and now we've got Grandpa. I just can't believe he wants to be licensee. It's just because he spends half his time drinking in here. Well, it does kind of make sense, I suppose. You're joking. No, I don't really like that, but well, he has got the controlling share. So, I've been here the longest. And anyway, we've already applied for a licence. I know, but what if Grandpa won't back down, you know? I don't want to be piggy in the middle. Holly, we're partners, and this is a joint application, remember? Yeah, I know, but... What? Well, I've got my...
my course and stuff. Oh. So, what's that got to do with anything? Well, I, I've got enough on my plate, you know? It's not fair. Holly, what are you trying to say? Look, I think I should withdraw my application. Holly, we're going to do this together. Yes, I know, and we'll still be partners, but I just think we should keep it simple, you know? I really don't want to get in a fight with Grandpa over this. OK. Fine, I'll do it on my own, if you don't want to offend your family. But I am sure as hell not pulling out. If your granddad wants a fight, well, he's certainly got one this time. 